Stucky, difficult evening, but City can do that to you, can't they? Yeah, listen, they're a good side. Uh, we knew setting up today they'd have loads of possession. Um, there's no doubt the quality they had on the pitch. Uh, they were going to create chances uh, throughout the game. We had to stay disciplined and we tried to stay compact as we can. Certainly for the first 25 min uh, minutes, I thought we were excellent. Um, unfortunately, you switch off against these um, uh, and they will punish you. Uh, and unfortunately today, um, there are occasions where you feel like you're in control and you've got possession of the ball and as soon as you turn it over, uh, it's probably when they're at their best and, uh, and, they, and they punish us at times today. Damage limitation after the, after the second? Um, yeah, I would, yeah, part of that. Uh, we still try to carry an attacking threat. Obviously, we, we try to put some fresh legs on with, uh, with Welbs. Uh, we try to play Sarf through the middle and drop Troy slightly deeper to give us a threat going forward and a bit of a threat in behind. Um, the problem is with, you know, with City to have so much of the ball, uh, you, you can end up camped in, uh, and at times we did. Um, but as I say, you know, we try to stick together, we try to sort of move across the pitch and, and, con uh, and condense space in between the lines, and, uh, and unfortunately they, they got in a little bit too often, and, and as I say, looking back at the goals, I think we'd be really disappointed. Um, certainly some of them were avoidable. Four down with, I think it was 24 minutes to play. Mm. Did well not to throw the towel and didn't roll over. No, I don't think. Um, I certainly don't think we've done that. Um, I think they committed to till the end. I've got to say, um, they showed a good spirit, some resilience, um, uh, and we uh, and we dug in and we did keep going. It could have been more. I thought. Uh, I thought Fozzie was outstanding. I've got to say, made some brilliant saves. He's really unlucky with a penalty, uh, and then the goal, uh, the goal that, uh, we can see um, kind of late on where he's made a good save. We were a little bit unfortunate that they, um, the rebound didn't quite fall to us. Um, but that was a bit of a bit of a story today. I think mean, uh, we rode our luck at times. There's no doubt about that. But certainly, um, you know, for us to, to dig in for the last 20 minutes as we did, I think that's. You know, listen, we're, we're we're proud of the lads that they've dug in. I don't think anyone chucked the towel in. I think everyone, you know, worked, worked their heart out and tried their hardest. But unfortunately, we've come up against a very good side today. Just further reflection on Ben's performance, that save from Rodri's effort in the first half yeah. and the one from De Bruyne's free kick in the second half. Yeah. Well, he didn't really deserve to end up on the losing side, did he? No, he didn't. He didn't. I mean, Fozzie's made saves like that in games, you know, throughout the whole season, certainly since I've been involved with the first team. Um, he's been extremely reliable. Uh, he's a massive, massive character for us. Uh, he's certainly one of our leaders. Um, and as I say, you know, played in goal myself and conceding four, you're always going to come off the pitch and be really disappointed. But I think on reflection, he'll look back at the way he's played today and I think he'll be really proud. What did you and Hayden say to the lads in the dressing room after that one? Um, listen, Hayden's, Hayden's, um, Hayden remained calm, as Hayden always is. Um, there's no doubt we're going to the Arsenal game with a game plan. It's extremely difficult to lift the lads straight away. There's a lot of emotion involved. Um, and you know, they often sort of drift off into their own little world and thinking about what they could have done better, which is good because you want them to look back at their own performance and, uh, and evaluate. But, but listen, Hayden's uh, he's been very honest with them. We've got another game to go. Um, there's still you know, points to be played for. Um, regardless of what goes on elsewhere, we've got to take care of, of, you know, of our own performances. And, and um, you know, we'll go to Arsenal again. We'll set up. We'll, we'll, we'll pick a team that we believe is going to go there and get us a result. How big a part of you yourself got to play this week? Put smiles on faces, lift mm. the spirits. Yeah, listen, I think tomorrow's going to be difficult, um, coming off the back of a 4-0 uh, defeat. I think the, the next day is always a little bit raw, um, and it's hard to lift some players. I think tomorrow they'll come in, they'll recover. Um, the, the lads that haven't played, there'll be a group that will train, and we'll try and get them in the best possible shape. Um, and then the following day, we'll, you know, we'll start to plan straight away, and we'll, and we'll prep for the game. And as I say, we'll try and come up with a plan that we feel is going to be uh, effective on a day, and, uh, and hopefully get some points. At your former club, where you spent a lot of happy years, how mm. much would it mean to you to get the result this club needs to stay in the Premier League? Yeah, listen, this is I'm at Watford Football Club now, and I do everything I possibly can to to beat Arsenal, regardless of the history I've got with the club. Um, I love the club to bits. I've had some wonderful years there, uh, but I'm now in a dugout for for Watford, and I've you know I'll always do my very very best to to get the best out of players and the best out of myself, uh, regardless of who we play. You've got a lot of goodwill on Twitter yourself from, from fans and on social media. Um, how important is it they keep the faith right now? What's, what's your message to them, Stacky? 
listen, while, you know, while me and Hayden will be here, one thing I can guarantee, we're, we're going to do our very, very best. Um, leave no stone unturned. Um, we'll, we'll do what's best you know, for the players. Uh, and moving forward, most importantly, the club um, uh, and, and the supporters. We want to give them something to smile about. We want to give them something to be proud of. Um, and we want to play our part in doing that. Um, so, listen, we'll be, no doubt, we'll have a good conversation after the game now and we'll sort of try and uh, evaluate and see where maybe we could have improved um, as coaches, what we could have done better. Um, no doubt there's going to be things that we'll look back, back on tomorrow when, when we review the game. Um, and it's probably going to be things we'll look back on and maybe we'll have changed, but I think that goes without saying. Uh, but listen, we, we're committed to the club, we're committed to, to the team, um, and we're going to do our very, very best to, to try and make some people happy coming into the season. Click here for more videos.